Hey everybody, today we have tonight's episode of Star Trek The Next Generation, Season 7, Episode 19, Genesis. A great episode and terrifically directed by Gates McFadden, aka Dr. Beverly Crusher, which she is now the first female member of the main crew to direct an episode of Star Trek. And I think she's actually the third kind of in general, right after Jonathan Franks and Patrick Stewart. So this is a great episode. It's sadly the last episode that we see Barkley in. Um, we do see him in First Contact, and then we'll see him again in six episodes of Voyager. But as far as the Next Generation series, I mean, we only have like six episodes left anyway, but this is the last one. So this episode like traumatized me as a kid. I loved it, but I was scared of it. So it starts out with Worf trying to do this experimental torpedo, and it kind of goes away, and Picard and Data have to take a shuttle to go get it. Now during this, Barkley is sick, and he has one of his genes ends up just being kind of a dormant rogue gene, and Dr. Crusher's like, oh, that's an easy fix. Boop, hypo spray, and then that's it. Now, as soon as he does that, or as soon, as soon as she gives him that, the crew basically starts acting weird. We start seeing, um, like, Worf starts acting very angry, and he's just eating all of this raw food. And then Troy is, like, she's always hot. so Or no, she's always cold, so she's trying to raise the temperature. And she wants salty food, and she just, she says that air is very dry, so she's always, like, drinking water. And so on and so forth. Um, now, before I got a little bit ahead of myself, my notes are out of order. Um, there, it's noteworthy that Spot is pregnant, which Spot is a female now, and uh, Nurse Alyssa is also pregnant, which like four episodes ago, she said that she was interested in dating a guy. So evidently she got married and pregnant within those last four episodes. I mean, it does happen, but whatever. So as the crew continues to go through this change, like Worf gets this venom sack and he like sprays venom at Dr. Crusher. It's a great scene. And to know that she's the one that's directing this, it's pretty awesome. And he bites Deanna because they're in a relationship now. Troy gets even like more dried out and cold. So she like turns her bathroom into like the swamp where she's in the bathtub which I'm pretty sure this is the first time we've seen a bathtub in The Next Generation or in Star Trek in general. Because there's always that joke that you never see the bathrooms in Star Trek. So it was interesting to kind of see her tub. Now during all of this, Data and Picard have finally returned in the shuttle and all of the life form readings are really weird. And they find Deanna and she has gills and her eyes are um, have a new coating over them. And she's basically an amphibian at this point. So they go to the bridge to kind of look at what's going on there, and they meet Caveman Riker, which it was kind of a funny scene because they, sh they shine the flashlight on him, and he turns, and he kind of drags his hand down the fish tank, and he totally flips off Picard. I don't know if that was intentional. I would assume not, but how nobody caught this. I actually rewound it because I was watching it with my husband. I actually rewound it and was like, did he just flip off Picard? And my husband's like, yeah, I saw that too. And so that was kind of funny. So they're going through this, Picard starts his changing where he just starts getting scared of everything. We don't really see him physically change. So they go to engineering and Barkley has basically devolved into a spider, which is kind of funny because in the Realm of Fear episode, he comments how spiders have never bothered him. So evidently that makes sense now. Um, and finally the main, like I guess you would say antagonist of the episode shows up where it's Worf looking freaky as hell like he the the makeup is great the lighting is great because you never like fully see him lit up you could just kind of see him in like spots until the very end you get a pretty good clear but he is terrifying as like a caveman klingon and it was great so they finally find spot's kittens are totally intact although spot is now an iguana which i think iguanas are adorable so i was like oh he's still cute who cares they realize that it has to do with the embryonic fluid. They go and find uh, Nurse Alyssa because she was pregnant so they can use her embryonic fluid to basically cure the Enterprise and everything goes back to normal. It's kind of an, a, a neat little tie up because Beverly talks about how when she injected Barkley with this T virus, it went airborne. So it instead of just activating this one dormant gene, it activated all of them, which then went airborne and activated everybody else. Like, it gets super sci-fi-y and kind of unneeded. 
this whole episode, it's not the most well-written episode, but it's definitely a fun adventure episode. So I really enjoyed this one. Um, if you guys have seen this one, go ahead. As I said, this is the last episode of The Next Generation with Barkley. We'll see him again, but for The Next Generation. So what do you guys think of Barkley? What do you think of Gates McFadden as a first-time director? And what do you guys think about this episode in general? So thank you guys for everything. You're all amazing. And I will see you guys next time for The Journey's End.